Hey creators, I'm Lara Mara and welcome to my channel. I'm all about becoming the best version of myself and inspiring you to become your best version of yourself. And in this video, I would love to talk about astrological how systems because that was one of the most common questions I've been asked. So many people ask me which house system I use, which house system is correct. And for those of you who are new to astrology and looking to find your life purpose from astrological perspective, there's a whole episode that I created. The links are below in description so you can check them out. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting this video or other videos in my channel. Your engagement really helps me grow my channel. And remember, we are co-creating this experience together. So I'm so grateful. I appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, I would love to share what I personally found most accurate based off of my experience. Now, there are no right or wrong answers, but I personally found that whole sign system works the best. So what I mean by whole sign system is the sign that falls on the east horizon or nine o'clock direction, that is your first house. Even if your ascendant falls on 29th degree of Aries, like for example, your rising sign is Aries. And let's say your ruling planet, Mars, is in the first degree of Aries. So it's going to be closer to the 12th house. So in the whole sign system, I consider it your chart ruler is in the first house because it shares the same sign. But... If your 12th house cusp is very close to the uh, earlier degree of Aries, within like four to five degrees, I would consider that your 12th house theme is going to play out significantly when it comes to your life purpose and anything related to your first house. And that includes your personality, physical appearance, and your identity and your body, physical body, and a lot of things, you know. Uh, so I use Placidus for the house cusps. So when a planet is close to a cusp of any of 12 houses, then I consider that that house will be affected pretty heavily by that planet. So let me take a few more examples just to clarify how I identify the location of chart ruler or the ruler of any houses. Uh, let's say you have Libra rising and your chart ruler Venus is in the Gemini. But Gemini is the ninth sign from your rising sign. So technically, according to whole sign system, your chart ruler is in the ninth house. But let's say your Venus is close to MC, the 10th house cusp. Then I would look at both 10th and 9th houses for details. And especially the Ascendant, Descendant, MC, and IC. Those four points are critical placements. So if you have any planets around this corners within like five to ten degrees then they are going to play out significantly so depending on where it is it's going to play out differently if it's in the mc obviously it's going to affect your public persona career and reputation and how other perceive you those are going to be affected yeah so hopefully this clarifies your questions around how system. So I primarily use whole sign system, but if there's any planet around the cusp of any houses, then I also look at that house. And let me know if you have any question and I want to turn it over to you and let me know in which house your chart ruler is located. 
and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell button to get notification every time I post a new video. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!